Man, today feels like a good morning. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, today feels like a good morning. But man, is today gonna be a good day? Today I just feel like I can do anything. Time to get to the game on time today. Cause you know. Good morning. Excuse me. Let's get ready. Man, I forgot. It's Sunday. We don't do practice on Sundays. Well, I almost got halfway down to the school. Shit. What's Man, I wish y'all could have met my dad. My mom said he was an explorer. Of some kind. He was a huge adventurer. He even brought his grandpa along for the ride. And mom even told me that some of his adventures would get a little crazy and unexpected. She described one of the places that he went to. Unethical. On um, um, a forbidden city that should have never seen what he saw that day. This is how the city could drive all the way out here. <sighs> the whole place must be fed by an underground spring. It's still running after all these years. And sometimes it even got too dangerous. And right there, that's when they said he snapped.
said that he saw things that no one should ever see. And he said he was very a physical man. He knew how to use his hands. And he wasn't as scared of no gun battle. He said he would fight. And he also said he was a ruthless adventurer. He just got lost. No one really knows what happened to him. People said that there was a plane crash in that desert that he was apparently on and said no one survived the wreckage. But then again, no one ever really got there. gonna hit hard. Ugh. Some people even said he would never have even survived a night out there. With no food or water to be even found near the wreckage site when it was found three years after. They said it was very unlikely that anyone could have helped him or found him. My mom says that he's still out there exploring but whoever knows out here in this wilderness there's nothing that man cannot do or find Perfect. Here we go. they said that the journey for him to even find civilization would take him years And that's the last anyone ever really heard of him. But then there was hope. At least that's what my mom said. She told me that he never stopped walking. He, she said that he always had his thoughts set on getting back home. But for him to do that would make him have hours and hours of exhausting walking. Some people even said that that trip would have killed a man. So he just kept on walking. And then night got closer. And it got cold. 
But he still had hope. But he was still highly tired. With no food or water at all. He's very dehydrated, delusional. and hopeless. <sighs> Some people even said that he could even have gone crazy. But whenever you get hope, usually the desert knows how to mess with you. And the nights in the desert were known to be unforgiving. Some people even heard stories that he might have found something out in their desert. And some people even think he's alive. Me, I have to focus on my football career. But like I said, I need to focus on my football career. Alright, this is his world. And all we can do is just watch him grow. Alright, now the next video is going to be him versing Miami. See y'all there.